The arts can be so many things, an expression of beauty, an escape from reality. The arts can also send a political message. Here at the Detroit Opera House, a very special performance is being done. It was originally performed by children inside a Nazi concentration camp in World War II. Now, what makes this particular performance so special is one of those original cast members is watching. Safe inside rehearsal rooms, the Michigan Opera Theater Children's Chorus practices songs from Brundabar. It is a far cry from the setting of the opera's original rehearsals 70 years ago. A Nazi concentration camp called Terezin in Czech, Terenstadt in German. I came to Terezinstadt the 12th of February. How do you remember that? How can you remember those days? Ask me what, what was yesterday. I wouldn't remember that. <laughs> right? But this is something that's ingrained. Yes. It's in me. Ella Stein was 11 years old when she arrived. Our childhood was taken from us. We weren't children anymore. We had to take care. We were taken from my mother, put into our children's home. Everybody was from different place, but I just want to tell you, we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Also, through all those years that I spent there, I learned, first of all, to be Jewish. I wasn't brought up Jewish. I was brought up that everybody is equal, and we celebrated Christmas, and we celebrated other holidays, too because my family was mixed marriages also. Mm -hmm. So when I came to this children's home and I learned about Jewish holidays and I learned about what is really to be a Jew. Ella played the cat in all 55 performances of Brundabar inside Terezin. The Nazis even filmed the show for a propaganda video. <laughs> Music was so important in our lives because this they couldn't take away. This was in our hearts and we were singing even the most, you know, when I see the words, but we were singing Ex Metana's Bader Bright is, you know, the words, why we should not be happy and we were singing it in the camp. Brindabar is the story of children banding together to beat a bully, a message that resonated at Terezin. And today, in this production, 14-year-old Lauren Ward plays the cat. I feel like I should give this all I can, and for all these people, I feel like I'm honoring all these people that went through the Holocaust and all the hard times that they went through and all the lives that uh, were just gone because of this event. Of the 15,000 children in Terezin, very few survived the Holocaust. Ella was among the survivors, freed in 1945. Now she travels from city to city, sharing Brundabar with the world. Do you still feel the pain and the hurt, or is that gone now? I am very proud when I see children sing this little opera, because when I was in Washington, D.C., the first time invited to listen to the opera. And I was sitting in the audience, and all of a sudden I was saying to myself, is it true that I'm free? I'm in America. I'm in Washington, D.C., and I will see Brundibar and listen. Because in my mind, when my friends were taken to their deaths in Auschwitz, I always thought that this little opera died with them. Mm -hmm. But when it's performed here, it will never die.
shares a poem written inside Tarazin by poet Ilse Weber, who was later killed at Auschwitz. Ella translated it for her own children. You and I, and we are friends. And you and I, and we love each other. In Terezin we met friends in need, hand in hand. And you and I, friends we still be. And you and I shall never forget. So also remember my friends. Wow. You know, all the women you met on this program prove that self-expression is such a powerful thing, whether it's telling your own story, like Ella, writing music, or maybe even, you know, reporting the news. Thank you so much for watching First Block.